The Nihon Shoki, sometimes translated as The Chronicles of Japan, is the second oldest book of classical Japanese history. The book is also called the Nihongi, or Japanese Chronicles. It is more elaborate and detailed than the Kojiki, the oldest, and has proven to be an important tool for historians and archaeologists as it includes the most complete existing historical record of ancient Japan. The Nihon Shoki was finished in 720 under the editorial supervision of Prince Teneri and with his sister of Ono Yashumaro and dedicated to Empress Gensho. The Nihon Shiki begins with the Japanese creation myth, explaining the origin of the world and the first seven generation of divine beings, and goes on with a number of myths, as does the Kojiki, but continues its account through the events of the 8th century. It is believed to record accurately the later reigns of Emperor Tenji, Emperor Tenmu, and Empress Tijo. The Nihon Shiki focuses on the merits of the virtuous rulers, as well as the errors of the bad rulers. It describes episodes from the mythological eras and diplomatic contacts with other countries. The Nihon Shiki was written in classical Chinese as was common for official documents at the time. The Kojiki, on the other hand, is written in a combination of Chinese and phonetic transcription of Japanese, primarily for names and songs. The Nihon Shiki also contains numerous transliteration notes telling the reader how words are pronounced in Japanese. Collectively, the story of this book and the Kojiki are referred to as Kiki stories. Tell of Hiroshima Taro is developed from the brief mention in the Nihon Shiki that a certain child of Hiroshima visited Horasan and saw wonders. The later tale has plainly incorporated elements from the famous anecdote of, quote, luck of the sea and luck of the mountains, found in Nihon Shiki. The later developed Hiroshima tale contains the Rip Van Winkle motif, so some may consider it an early example of fictional time travel. The Shoko Nihongi notes that, quote, up to the time Prince Toneri had been compiling Nihongi on the orders of the emperor, he completed it, submitting 30 volumes of history and one volume of genealogy, end quote. The volume of genealogy no longer exists. The process of compilation is usually studied by a stylistic analysis of each chapter. Although written in classical Chinese, some sections use styles characteristic of Japanese editors, while others seem to be written by native speakers of Chinese. According to recent studies, most of the chapters after number 14 were contributed by native Chinese except for chapters 22 and 23. Also, as chapter 13 ends with the phrase, see details of the incident in the chronicle of Ohastusi Emperor, referring to the assassination of Emperor Anko. It is assumed that this chapter was written after the compilation of subsequent chapters. Some believe chapter 14 was the first to be completed. The Nihon Shoki is a synthesis of older documents, specifically on the records that had been continuously kept in the Yamato court since the 6th century. It also includes documents on folklore submitted by clans serving the court. Prior to Nihon Shiki, there was the Tenoki and the Koki, compiled by Prince Shataku, Soga no Yumako, but as they were stored in Sangha's residence, they were burned at the time of the Ishii incident. The work's contributors refer to various sources that do not exist today. Among those sources, three Bakchi documents are cited mainly for the purpose of recording diplomatic affairs. Records possibly written in Bakchi may have been the basis for the quotations in the Nihon Shoki. Textual criticism shows that the scholars fleeing the destruction wrote these histories and the authors of the Nihon Shoki heavily relied upon these sources. This must be taken into account in relation to statements referring to old historic rivalries between ancient Korean kingdoms of Shila, Kagoryo, and Bakchi. And the use of Bakchi's place names in Nihon Shoki is another piece of evidence that shows that the history used Bakchi documents anonymously as Aru Fumi or other document in order to keep alternative records for specific incidents. Most scholars agree that the purported founding date of Japan of 660 BCE and the earliest emperor of Japan are legendary or mythical. This does not necessarily imply that the person referred to did not exist, merely that there is insufficient material available for further verification and study. The dates in the Nihon Shoki before the late 7th century were likely recorded using the Jinka calendar system. For those monarchs and also the emperors Ojin and Nintoku, the links of reign are likely to have been exaggerated in order to 
to make the origins of the imperial family sufficiently ancient to satisfy numerological expectations. It is widely believed that the epoch of 660 BCE was chosen because it is a, a genu year in the sexagenary cycle, which according to Taoist beliefs was an appropriate year for a revolution to take place. As Taoist theory also groups together 21 sexagenarian cycles into one unit of time, it is assumed that the compilers of Nihon Shoki assigned the year 601, a genu year in which Prince Shataku's reformation took place, as a quote, modern revolution, end quote, year, and consequently recorded 660 BCE, 1260 years prior to that year, as the founding epoch. For the eight emperors of chapter 4, only the years of birth and reign, year of naming as crown prince, names of consorts, and locations of tombs are recorded. They are called Keshi Hachidai, or, quote, or eight generations lacking history, because no legends are associated with them. Some studies support the view that these emperors were invented to push Jimmu's reign further back to the year 660 BCE. Nihon Shoki itself somewhat elevates the 10th emperor Shu Jin, recording that he was called Hatsu Kuni Shiratsu, or first nation ruling emperor. Music